I'm Eric Flegel from TubeAmpRepairShop.com in Oceanside, California. All day long, what I do in our shop is repair tube amplifiers, mostly musician amplifiers, some stereos. And uh, my favorite product to work with, the only product that we work with, is the Deoxit line of products. Uh, I like everything they make, and uh, we order it on a regular basis because we're constantly cleaning, servicing, and repairing amps. This is the Deoxit Gold Vacuum Tube Survival Kit, and it contains brushes which go into the tube sockets, and then some small containers, cups if you will, that you can put the chemical into, the Deoxit, stand your tubes up, and you can leave them overnight if you have bad oxidation on your pins, and then you have these wipes for cleaning the tube off and the pins before you put it back in the sockets. Um, comes with both chemicals in it, the Deoxit D100L and the Gold Deoxit, which is great for sockets with the gold pin receptacles. This is a typical project that you might find in our shop. There are lots of different amp amplifiers from Fender and Marshall, etc. Uh, but the manner in which you remove the tubes for servicing is pretty typical. A lot of them have the bear trap or another spring-loaded piece of metal, uh, which you have to pinch open. When you want to get the tube out, you want to make a circular motion and pull up gently, and then it will come out and you can examine the pins. Or do the other one. Well, these are the power tubes, the bigger ones. And then the smaller tubes, it's the same thing. You want to rotate them gently so you're not just yanking on it. And of course, the uh, space in the middle is the index. So when you put it back in, you'll have the correct orientation. So this is a practical example. Tubes come with all different amounts of corrosion. As a JJ, it's a newer tube. It's not like some of the old fender tubes from the 60s and 70s. When they come in, the pins are dark or black or corroded. It looks like they have rust on them. Uh, but since it's only a modest amount of corrosion, we're not gonna fill the container all the way up and soak overnight. We're just going to put a little bit in the dish and then we're going to use the uh, cloth to move it around and wipe it off. One thing that comes in the kit that I like is we have these uh, applicators. It's a stick with a little sponge. This is good for brushing the um, pins of the tube. And then in a couple of minutes, we're also going to use this one with bristles and we'll clean the tube sockets that way it doesn't make a mess spraying it in there. We get it right where it's needed on the metal uh, receptacles. So now that I have the Deoxit D100L in the cup, I'm going to apply some to the applicator. And we don't need to get it on the glass at all. We just want to get it on the metal pins themselves. It's a good size. You can rotate the tube carefully. You don't want to leave fingerprints on the tubes. But we can wipe those with the soft cloth afterwards. And... Uh, with this applicator, I can get it on the inside and the outside. The, the pins are round and they go into round receptacles. They make pretty good contact. And then we'll leave it on there for a moment so it can do its job as a chemical and do the cleaning. I'm going to set this aside. And then the kit comes with these wipes, which are really nice because you can remove the excess and you won't have any drips, etc. Once again, get it right inside where you need it and clean all the facets, all the different sides of the pins. This one's ready to go back into a socket. And it's a little easier to see the cleaning on the large tube sockets, the octal tube sockets for the octal pin, the power tubes. So I'm going to go ahead and also clean the pins on this one. Mostly on the outside, it's easier to get to because you have the plastic locator pin in the center. And there's a little edge, which is the index pin, which will line up with the index keyhole in the in the socket. And we've got the chemical on there. Well, those are getting cleaned. We're going to go ahead and um, let it do its cleaning for a second, and then we're going to wipe it off so it doesn't go all over the place. And we're going to set the tube aside for a minute. I'm going to use this fantastic little brush that they give us, just the right size for getting into the receptacles. I'm going to set aside this tube cleaning sponge. I'm going to apply some of the chemical now to the bristles. Get a bunch of it on there. 
but it's not dripping, which is nice. It's thick enough. And you can reach inside right to the metal pin receptacles and get it right where it's needed. This will help to clean. Now you have clean receptacles and clean pins. When you put everything together, you're going to have great electronic connectivity. Lots of surface contact area. And so now I'll set the bristles aside. I'm pointing my locator pin forward because that's where it is in the key. Holding open the bear trap. And then just goes right back in there like that. And then once we get the rest of the service done, the app will be ready to power up and it should work great. I've replaced all of the tubes back into the amp. And now that I'm done, a couple of things to note for good practice. Um, if you have dust on your tubes that have been sitting for a long time, it can add to the heat when they're operating. But the kit uh, from Deoxit includes this cloth, which is great to remove any fingerprints that may get on the glass during the time that you're handling it. And you'll have better uh, tube life. The oils are removed, so it won't compromise the integrity of the glass or the paint on the glass. Um, in terms of practical usage, it seems like if you were to clean your tube pins and sockets once a year, you'll have better tube life and better sound when you're using your amp on the long run. Uh, so I recommend using it uh, once a year to clean your tubes and the sockets and keep your amp in excellent health. One thing that I found very handy is they include the Doxic Gold Tube Survival Kit directions and of course before using any chemicals or cleaning supplies or any electronic device it's good to read the directions and see what they have to say. So I'm just going to read them and hopefully you'll find this useful. One, verify that the system is off and unplug power. Two, remove the vacuum tubes. Three, apply the Deoxit D100L solution using cleaning brushes to the inside of the tube sockets. Four, place enough Deoxit D100L solution in the cups to permit tubes to sit fully submerged in a liquid without wetting the upper portion of the tube. Five, stand the vacuum tubes in cups and allow to sit overnight. Six, wipe off deoxid and contaminants with large foam swabs. Seven, apply the deoxid gold GXMD solution using the cleaning brushes to the inside of the tube sockets. Eight, remove the vacuum tubes from the cup and clean the edges using the foam swabs and lint-free cloth. Step number nine, replace the vacuum tubes. I wanna thank you for watching and I hope that you found the information useful as I have. It's a great product. We use it all day long, every day. Uh, you can order the Deoxit products from AmericanRecorders.com and for your convenience, uh, you can also click the link at TubeAppRepairShop.com. Thank you and have a great day.